And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at the R&D expansion for Steam Torpedo. It's a small little expansion. Uh, you need the game Steam Tor Torpedo. If you don't know that, go watch my review of that. Anyhow, let me show you what's in it. This set comes with a, your own 10 more tiles that you can mix and match with the other submarines. You still would need a control room uh, to make your, I mean, you could use, I guess, nine of these to make your own submarine. So we're basically just going to look at them and see how the different tiles might fit to see if this is something you might want to add, and you probably will because you want some more variety. Um, so here we go. Starting here at the beginning, we have the Bacteriological Aqua Grenades. That just sounds cool, right? Well, these are cool for a couple reasons. One, they hit in all four directions, but they don't do any damage. They only, they actually suck out an oxygen, which can be a pretty big deal. Get rid of your oxygen, and there's no defense against it, really. So, you slowly suck out the oxygen. Now, these are, you know, easy to blow up this section, but still. The steam-powered torpedo is a long-range thing that gains damage depending on how far away you are. So, you want to try to pull as far back as you can and then shoot it, and it can do some damage. Problem is... It, your opponent's going to know you have that, and they're not going to let you do that very often. But hey, it also lets you do maneuvering. Another uh, maneuvering here, another engine tile, gives you basically lets you move a number of sectors equal to the sailors in all your engine compartments. So doing that, combining with the seam power torpedo, you can pull off a pretty good combo. Up here we have a bogey, which lets you switch two of your compartments. Yeah, that's kind of an iffy thing how often you can do that, but hey, it can happen. Then moving along down here, we have the last six. We have this explosive reactive armor. When you blow up one compartment, you can blow up another compartment instead. All right, that might come in handy. I do like the fire guard system. Basically, it can fix itself. You can get rid of two off of itself or one from somewhere else. And then we have the evil six grenade launcher and the hornet missiles, which essentially do the same thing. They're both long range and you need to be behind. You can notice there's a lot here where you want to be in long range behind your opponent. But this one here gives you the extra armor, and this one here uh, gives you the maneuvering. So which one of those do you want? Well, in this case, both. Then we have the explosive harpoon, which hits in three different directions and can be doubled. That's cool. And the sharp chains, which once you hit the opponent from behind, you can then move forward one. Which actually doesn't work as well with the rest of the submarine per se, but it's a very cool thematic thing. Not much to say here, really. I mean, there's more tiles. Some of these tiles, I mean, you can now mix and match and make an armored submarine that can't move fast, but, or you make a speedy submarine, or you can have all different weapons. Hey, it's more stuff, and more stuff is always good. Not much more I can say. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs> Shut the door! Boo! Mm -hmm.